here with the turquoise iris you are on paint talk which is my how to favorite how to my favorite how to paint show goodness gracious my words how are you guys today um i'm here abby's here matt's here Hello. And I have some shipwrecked, which is some wax. Look at this. It's a verdigree shipwreck. Before I even get started on this brand new piece of furniture. Hey, girl. Hey, Katja. How are you? And if I said that wrong, I apologize. I'm certain it won't be the first time that you've heard that. What is it? Who? Katja? Katja. It's not. It's Katja. No, I don't think it is. Katja? Sweetheart, ignore him. He Katja? really doesn't know. I apologize. How are you guys, everybody? I'm so thrilled you're here. We're on Instagram. Hey, Luann. And we're on YouTube and Facebook. And listen, we're not going to leave anybody out for the paint party. So we always bring everybody in on paint talk. Um, I am actually going to, before I even get started on this, I meant to do this earlier. I'm actually going to put a thin coat of wax on this hardware because I don't want to, I'm actually going to leave it on here because um, I'm going to paint a little bit over it, but I also want to be able to wipe back some of that paint. Oh, I did say it right. Okay. I said it right. You did not. It's Katya. Thank you, sweetheart, for being here. Uh, How are you? I, I caught you. Like, I just caught you, right? Gotcha. I guess. Hi, Gail. It's Oklahoma time. Hi, Joey. How are you? Um... Matthew, do, does, does the lighting look weird on YouTube? Um, you just look, you look a little bright. Might want to yeah, I look a little bright. Vision. Give me a second, too. Um, but the reason I'm putting wax over these is because I want to protect it just a little bit from the paint getting down on it. That way I can kind of wipe it back. And I'm using our verdigree wax because, well, it's my favorite and it's pretty and it's turquoise. <laughs> Thank you, Kasha, for your sense of humor, sweetheart. I appreciate you. Um, with a name like Dion, nobody ever spells it right. Nobody really says it. Nobody right says right. it right. My husband doesn't say my name right either. Her just name, FYI. How you pronounce it is Dione. Nope. It's not Dione. It's Dion. How are you? He does say Dion and the Dion. emphasis that's wrong. Neon Dion. Doesn't matter how many times I've tried to tell him, he doesn't care. Di Dion. How do you say it? How, how, how you should, know how I say how my name. How should I pronounce it? All right, we're going to get started on this first makeover <laughs> here. Not first makeover, but a brand new piece. My wonderful friend, Michelle Replogle, who's on here right now. And if you guys have any questions, need links, she's got you covered, okay? She came from Tulsa to see me today and brought this beautiful piece of furniture so we could get started. Um, if you saw me start on the piece that's going on the cover of the magazine, uh, I did work on it a couple of nights here on Paint Talk, but I've had to secretly put that over there and work on it privately. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie. She is a great teacher, Lolly Lolly. Um, uh, we will be revealing it for the big, big paint talk where we do the reveal of the cover of the first issue. So I'm covering this up right now, but look at the colors I have. Mint chip, skeleton key. Matt, do you even know if I've ever used that in front of you before? I don't think so. It's a great grayish green color. I'm looking to do a sunset but it's going to be a cloudy, moody sunset. I have a drop of queen bee, prairie gray, and some bohemian blue. And then I'm going to hand paint a design on the cover of this whole piece and wrap it around the sides. I haven't decided if I'm gonna do um, wildflowers because we're still doing our series that's called Under the Boardwalk for the entire summer. Once we get this piece done, we're gonna start another piece of artwork where we can give it away to one of you guys or to somebody that you know that has been going above and beyond to pay it forward. So that will start probably next week or as soon as we get this piece finished. Um, I will be heading out to California next Thursday for um, the grand opening of Debbie Beard's new shop, DIY A Go Go. So if you're in that area, we will all be taking turns going in the shop and helping her get all set up. 
I have a workshop that I'm teaching in that area. If you guys are near Encinitas, California, we would love to have you join us. We do still have some tickets available to that workshop. We have plenty of room to spread out. There's a courtyard. Uh, so part of the class might be out there. Um, we will, of course, be following all of the um, social distancing rules that California has enforced. Um, and apparently the beach is across the street. Um, Lolly, yes. Gavin, if you're on here, bud, I'm coming in on Thursday and I'm leaving on Monday. So I will be there all day Friday, all day Saturday, and all day Sunday at Debbie's shop. I plan on being there to meet and greet as many of you that are coming by to the open house, as well as helping Debbie with anything that she might need. Um, you know what, hum? While I'm, while I'm thinking about it, remind me to get back with um, Kenise about microphones. I forgot all about that part of her Kenise conversation. Kenise and microphones. Yes, Kenise, write it down. In my vault. In my vault. <laughs> Hi, Mama. Um, Michelle helped me remember that too. She wanted to know about microphones and stuff. I need to get back with her. Okay, so I was just putting that wax over the hardware because as I start applying paint, I don't want the paint to stick to it. Um, and so it's going to act as a little bit of a barrier. So I have Bohemian Blue midship so we're going for that cloudy sunset we're going to go with those uh, more french style colors and then i want to hand paint a design i don't have that sketched out or figured out uh, but it's hopefully going to be good will you ever come to birmingham alabama well i don't have it on my to-do list um, we have Georgia, but that doesn't mean that I won't come to Alabama someday. Sandra, thanks for the invite. Honey, if you're going to say Alabama, you need to say it properly. For a scump. Alabama. And here comes Alabama. Oh. <laughs> Thank you for that, Michelle. <laughs> oh, I hate it when angry faces pop on the screen, but I'm certain that that was an accident. So thank you for that. Um, if anybody wants to know any information about the new journal, that's going to be coming out this fall. We are working daily on this huge project. And let me tell you, there are those times, I'm just gonna be honest with you, there's times since we've launched this where I'm like, what am I doing? And then one of you comes on here or on a post and says you can't wait and you're looking forward to all seeing all the new artists. And then I soften up and think we can, we can and we will do it. <laughs> right, Matt? Sure. Right. <laughs> I am just over the moon excited. Those of you um, that have a project or maybe you have a special uh, little thing that you do, maybe you're interested in being featured in our magazine and in the podcast or something like that. You can always, always go to uh, the turquoisecyrusjournal.com, scroll all the way down to the bottom and submit because we are looking for people just like you to um, feature in our magazine. Um, quick question. Yes, indeed. This is from uh, Roberto. Hi. Why would you put wax on the pools when you're just going to pull the paint back off? Why can't you just take the paint or the handles off? Um, so I just answered that twice. So I'm going to let you go for it. You did? Yeah, twice. I don't remember. <laughs> That's what I figured. <laughs> you obviously weren't listening or you wouldn't have asked. <laughs> Lolly, how many brushes do you have? Did mine get there? Oh, sweet. So I am putting it on here because as I swipe over it with the paint, I don't want it to stick. The wax acts as a protector for it, you guys. Um, okay, so I've loaded my tray with mint chip and also with the prairie gray. I've got my six inch vip brush and those of you that are on instagram i just want to say thank you for hanging out if you don't know me and you don't um you're not familiar this is where i come every wednesday and sunday matt's my husband so he's watching all the comments so i don't miss anything or any questions so if you guys have any questions any time uh this is a chalk and clay based paint so i don't have to prep or let me rephrase that i don't have to uh sand or put any primer, okay? So I'm just gonna go right over that hardware. And it's not that I don't want to, I do want to paint it. But I also want it to kind of wipe back. And um, I am always doing different things that I don't always have an explanation for. I just know it feels right. 
I try to turn every single piece of, of furniture into its own artwork. I don't want anything that I do to look like anything else I've ever done before. And so I'm always, I get bored really easily. So I'm constantly coming up with new ideas. I have a new product that I'm devising or what do we call it? What are we doing with, with the product over there? Innovating. Innovating. I can't wait to show you. It's, it's in, in the, progress. It's in the, it's in the testing Yes, phases. it's in the testing phases. And so as soon as we get that figured out, we lots of ideas. It's taken a lot of brain power. Um, we will be using it on the, I will be using it on my furniture and hoping um, to show you guys exactly how to do it that's most effective. So I'm using Midship and the Prairie Gray, loading it on my brush at the same time. Like this, half and half. And I'm just gliding over it for a base coat. Um, I'd like to uh, welcome Mary Ann Bitling. Hi. Bitling. Hi, Mary Ann. I just found you on Pinterest over the weekend, and I'm so excited to try painting furniture. I don't even have supplies yet. Well, oh. we're glad you're excited, and it's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun. Most of the people that I coach in my business group all have the same story. We wanted a new look. And we didn't have a big budget, and so we just took our old pieces and we started figuring out how to give them an updated look without spending a penny. And that in itself, uh, I'm sorry, this was not Prairie Gray, guys. This was Skeleton Key. Prairie Gray is still up here. So uh, we wanted to give it a new look, but we didn't have the money. And that's pretty much the story with almost everybody, it seems like, that I coach. So if that's you, you're not alone. Most of us have discarded pieces in our furniture. Maybe they were handed down. Uh, maybe we inherited them, or maybe we bought them at a garage sale for 10 bucks because that's all that we can afford at the time, um, or that's all we can afford right now. Um, we've all been there. We all know what that's like. And so I started painting furniture as a way to um, update our house because I've always loved painting. I've painted our cabinets in several homes that we lived in. My mom was always painting something, whether it be the walls. I've even painted my laminate countertops um, before in our first house and maybe the second house. Yeah, second there house as well. from Lisa Dixon. Hi, Lisa. I put too much dark wax over clear on my piece. I use more clear as an eraser, but it's still too dark. I want to redo it. What is the best way to remove so the wax? If, it, if you already tried the clear and it's still too dark, then just sand a little bit. Just get your sanding sponge. And get after it with a um, with a sanding sponge to kind of lighten that up. Okay, that's what I would do personally. Um, anybody else have any wonderful suggestions for her? Give it to her. Lolly well, said mineral spirits. Okay. Uh, Evelyn D, where did your brush come from? Um, my website, the Turquoise Cyrus. This is the VIP Paint Pixie. Um, and I work together to um, have a line of brushes. So this is the VIP six inches. And surprisingly, look how thick it is. This isn't a th very thin brush. It actually holds quite a bit. Um, is skeleton gray a gray or a green? It's both. It's really more gray, but it's a green gray. Okay. You know how you have blue grays, brown grays. Um, and if you don't, there are, there's so many. <laughs> Glad I didn't ask. I moved on to something else. Uh, Liz, glad I didn't ask. Um, Don't worry about that. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Look, let's look at this. So we still have the skeleton and the midship. Oh, right, 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 right. So I actually decided I wanted to go ahead and put a little bit of water and see how it was going to stick on this base coat. And I'm going to incorporate a little bit of yellow here in just a second, too. Now, this, this dresser has the mirror, right? It does. Um, so Michelle brought it today, and it has a gorgeous, you can see the little frame up there at the top, it has a gorgeous little um, oval 
mirror that sets right in there. And so I wanted, you know, usually when I do my sunsets, guys, I do lots of oranges and reds. Um, and I decided this time I wanted a sunset, but more of a cloudy sunset, more of a hazy kind of day at the beach, okay? So this will be um, under the boardwalk and in that collection as well. We'll have to come up with a clever name for it. Earlier today, I was thinking I might go in a driftwood kind of pattern. But I thought that might be a little bit too much gray for me, you guys. Uh, Sandra Rayburn, why don't you take the knot off? Um, it kind of just depends. I do take them off sometimes. Um, for this particular piece, I really love the way um, I can antique a piece and actually add the layers of paint to it with the wax. It's just a look that I actually love. Um, I don't want there to be a really stark contrast because I treat every piece like a canvas. If you have these bold brass spots right in the middle of them, it's not quite as cohesive. And so I really just kind of like it to flow um, without so many interruptions. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, it's easier to blend all the colors, depends on the piece, says Carissa. Yeah, exactly what Carissa said. Right on, sister. It's just because if you just look at this like a canvas, I really just need it to flow and taking them off sometimes is necessary, especially if they're really good quality. Um, but often there's that cheap flimsy stuff like that last piece we did it was pretty, but it was so thin. And I just felt like it was, it, I just thought that that painting them would actually um, look much better. And when you layer waxes, you guys, it's another huge benefit of using wax. Uh, it's Janet from Another Planet. My husband and I are bringing a little present for you, Matt. We will get it to Dion in California. Aww. I'm sorry I'm going to miss you guys. That's so nice. Thank you. You guys, I don't think, is Gavin on here right now? I, no, I have not seen Gavin. Okay. I don't think he knows, but you guys have added so much, like you guys have sent him travel money, right? Um, so I don't think he quite knows that you guys have done that as much. And, um, he's going to be a little bit surprised, I think, at how much money he's getting. <laughs> so we'll let he and his mom work all that out, but I'm super excited to see the look on his face. Um, and Gavin, if you don't know who that is, he's an 11 year old aspiring furniture artist who's super supportive of myself and so many other creatives on here. And um, well, he's just been a joy to have on. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and wet this. I'm gonna get a little bit of yellow going on here, prairie gray, and even some bohemian blue. Lolly, Lolly, uh, will you be doing any lives in California? You bet I will, Lolly. You bet. I gotta get around that beautiful Chevy truck, do some selfies. Um, I will be doing a live Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and definitely during the class. I always go live during my workshops uh, before we kick it off, let everybody say hello. And then when I draw the names for the winner of the pieces that we paint, we always go live too. Um, so that is um, something that we always, always look forward to. So yeah, make sure you're following along. I'm sure that Jamie, I know Jamie and Zeb will, I know Debbie will, and I certainly will. I'm probably gonna go live when I see Gavin. Like, don't you think I should go live when Gavin's with me, Matthew? You're gonna see so many people, you're gonna wanna <laughs> have everybody in the video. I know, but see, here's the thing, not everybody wants to be in videos. Well, that's true, that's true. Right, not yeah. everybody's gonna want to, but Gavin, I have a feeling, might be pretty cool with it. Uh, Luann, Samson, McComb. Hi, Luann. Hope I said that right. Uh, do you prep your services, question mark, sanding or other prep? Questions? No, I don't unless it's a very heavily, um, heavily uh, varnished piece. With DIY paint, it's a clay base, uh, clay and chalk. It will stick to anything. And that's really honestly one of the reasons why I love it so much is because I don't have all that prep work. Right, Kristen? He's going to be there. Girl, I wish I was going to meet you that weekend. One of these days, I'll get to meet you, Kristen Alexander. 
Um, let's grab some prairie gray and open up some bohemian blue and see what we can do too. We're just getting the base color. Just imagine like a, a warm um, overtone, overcast sky. And then I want to bring in some flowers over the next couple of weeks. All right. This is a surprise base coat, right, Susie? I'm pushing myself because the other day, you know, I did on the piece that's going to go on the cover of the magazine. I did that, the blues, of course, with the warm, sunny sunset or sunrise. And I'm thinking, <laughs> Um, I screwed up with dark and decrepit. I was outside and I could not get it to move even with water. I ended up repaying the whole thing. Lolly, you and me both, sister. I've done the exact same thing. Uh, any questions on Instagram, go ahead and ask. I'm going to look really quickly to see if you have questions. Um, you can follow me here. You can also follow on the Turquoise Cyrus Journal, which is our new paint magazine that's going to be coming out this fall. Hey, we got Rob in the house. Hi, Rob. How are you, bud? John, my friend Sarah with Tarnished Pearl should be see. I was. This weekend? I, I see her. Pearl. No, I see her next weekend. Okay. I'm gonna see Sarah. Sarah went to Paris with us. Tarnished Pearl. Yes, girl. We got Patty her and Ferguson's Kathy. in the house tonight. Who is Patty Ferguson Levine? Oh, she's a little late. Hi, Patty. No worries. Hi, Carrie Fox. Kathleen Nolan. Hello, sister. That's Carrie Fox. Haven't seen you in a while. How are you over on the gram? So I am putting in some prairie gray right now. Beauty has joined us. Hi, Beauty. Joanne says hello. Hi, Joanne. Beauty gave us some tips yesterday in the Creative Connection on what the difference was between cold and hot pressed paper. And I did not actually know, and I had an opposite of what is right. And Beauty, Beauty shared that information. So thank you for that information, Beauty. I didn't even pay for that. <laughs> yep, she's my dealer. Yes, I love her. But yes, we went to Paris together, and she and Kathy will both be there from what I understand. Um, <clears throat> I hope I get this right. Thyla Spideropolis. Excuse me. Hi. Um, is the paint going to stick to the hardware? Thank I you, know Kathy. I messed that whole thing up, but I gave it a shot. Um, well, it's going to be a lot easier to rub back off because I put wax on it first. So it's going to give it a little bit of resistance where I added that wax, you guys. It'll be a little bit easier. I meant to do that before I even went live, but you know how that goes. Oh, I think I got it. I, I did think you I got get it close, close babe? I think I did. Thank what? you. And I get lucky sometimes. <laughs> uh, Emma Ramos says hi, Deanna and Matt. Uh, from hi, San Emma. Antonio, Texas. Hello, Emma. Down there in Rob's country. Yep, South Texas down there. You guys are awesome. So many of you down there. I am just putting some prairie gray. I know this is a different combination for me, which is why I'm doing it. I'm going to put some beautiful coral flowers on here, maybe coral and crinoline, and maybe some vines, some tree branches. This is part of our summer series under the boardwalk. So I want to do a sunset, but I wanted to do a hazy one because we guess we kind of get just as many hazy days as we do sunny days, right? It's been gorgeous the last two days in Oklahoma. Can I get a amen? What? Amen. Hasn't it been gorgeous? Oh, look at that. I love guess, that. Guess, guess, guess who's in the house tonight, honey? Guess? Do I have to guess? No, I'll just tell you. Okay. Vintage vibes. Isn't it? Vintage vibes. How are you? I was just thinking the other day, I haven't seen you use your trusty putty knife in a long time. I think, Tammy, we used it on... We used it on the navy piece, the last furniture piece. Yep, I used it for the, the green in the Creative Connection. I used it for Salty Kiss. Um, yes, love that thing. I think it comes in handy. I had to actually get it for Matt the other day. <laughs> Remember you when you were working on that thing? Yeah, and you were like, do you have like something? And I said, my trusty putty knife. <laughs> it can also be, well, it can also be used to... Uh, um remove wood 
<laughs> right? For, uh, from something. Read, read Chris's, uh, read Chris, Chris's comment, baby. I'm, Chris? Yeah. Okay, hold on. Karen Ramsey Rennick, what brush are you using now to blend? This right here is uh, the Lil D. This is um, from Paint Pixie. And then, of course, I have this one is what I started with. I have my Dusty, which I haven't started with. But as you can see, even though it's three inches wide, it's also almost a whole inch wide as far. There's a lot of bristles. And so when people ask what makes a good quality brush, feel the brush content, you guys. Feel the bristles. See how many are actually packed inside this. That's what tells you because it can look like high quality from the outside. But when you really do this and look at the quantities of bristles, that's how you find out if it's truly a good quality and if it's going to actually hold a lot of paint. The D and the little D. Amen. All right, my main man, Chris Butler. Yeah, read his, read his thing. Kat and I put an offer on a 112-year-old house today. <clears throat> Hoping to hear back in the morning if they accept the offer. Fantastic. I don't uh, envy you, my friend. <laughs> That's stressful, isn't it? Yes. Wait, I, I hate... hope you get it, and congratulations if you get it. We'll yes. find out tomorrow. Let us know. Let us know, even if you don't. That Sounds like means... a lot of lives in, in, in your future, my friend. Oh, yeah, Chris. You're about to go live up in there and do a whole house remodel I'll on the Facebook. I'll, I'll get on it. You can paint over chalk paint with DIY. Yes, Jojo Murr 153 on Instagram. You can. If it's um, sealed with wax, go ahead and give it a little bit of a sanding with uh, our sanding, you know, do a sanding sponge, just roughen it up just a little bit. And you okay. can definitely. I, I, I am missing stuff, I guess, tonight. Mm -hmm. But uh, she paints. She said, okay, Matt, you're dead to me. Oh, no. So you I hurt have, my girl, Kristen. I have missed something, and I'm trying to go back up and find, and I. I'm you just, miss my Caleb. I, I did somewhere along the way. <laughs> I'm sorry. Shoot. You're dead to her now. Right. Kristen, you're going to have to, 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 to read, to rewrite it, sis, or something. But I'll be honest with you. I've looked up several times and I haven't seen it either. <laughs> um, we are about to come into our one year anniversary of this house, you guys. We moved in here last September and I can't even believe that. I, it's so crazy how quickly time flies. I've got to go get my present from... Um, Your present? Yeah, my birthday present that Michelle. Oh, go get it. Yeah, I just washed them too. Did you already wear them? Yeah, I remember I wore them to the wedding. Ah, oh, Michelle, you wore them to the wedding. I took a picture. You can, Jojo, but I will tell you right now, if you place a big order, I don't have very many things in stock. Um, and if you place a large order, it may take up to a month because um, the orders are backed up. I placed a huge paint order today, but that just means I'm going to have to wait a few weeks too. So you can, and I would love that. Um, but just so you know, paint orders right now for DIY, um, they're backed up unless your retailer has it in stock. Just a little PSA there, public service announcement. So I am just adding Bohemian Blue. I've got Prairie Gray. I've got Skeleton Key Mint Ship and also some Queen Bee. And I am absolutely loving this look right now. We're going to do a hazy sunset. And I'm going to add, um, are you putting them on, kiddo? Oh, no. Uh, OK, I'm not going to get this right, but I'm going to give it a shot. Okay. Ubella a Tresor with Sylvia Brett. Brett. Okay. Hi. I just, do you paint around the drawers? I do. I usually just buy pieces that are flush mounted so I don't have to open them and get down in there in the crease, but that's something that I do later because it's hard to see that on a live but I do. Um, so Matt had a birthday last week on the 9th. Mar Marla said, undies, Matt, Matt. <laughs> yes, I've got them on right now, and y'all get ready. <laughs> no, no, we're not. We're not actually going to get ready there. No, we're not. All right, guys, hang tight. So Michelle said she found these. Michelle is who posts our links on here. You're welcome, Jojo Mar 153. Um, 
She got he got these socks in the mail for his birthday. You gotta say what they say. I know. Okay. Of course I will, honey. It says kicking it and it's got a boom box and tape cassettes. It's got a little record player. It's got some big old headphones. And it says old school. Kicking it old school. So Matt's business is old school electric company. And uh, that it, Michelle said she said nope, that he just they had he had to have those. So he got those in the mail on his yeah, I've already, yeah, I've worn them already. Um, oh, thank you, Kathleen. Yeah. Uh, Trudy Brown, hello from sunny Whitney, Australia. Thank you for joining. Uh, Crystal Coral Marie Molina. Is Matt joining you in Encinitas? Encinitas. Encinitas. Um, he is not going to be able to make it. Unfortunately, we really wanted him to. Um, Holden has already gone back to school. And Abby cannot be boarded anymore. We've been boarding her for nine years every time we go out of town. Last summer, we left her and she got so incredibly sick. And I don't know that has anything to do with where we board her. She was probably already sick. Um, and both of us are just a little bit worried about leaving her. Um, and so we just decided not to. Um, she's used to being with me all the time. And since I work from home, um, just having her alone that much, even if we had somebody come by, it's still not the same for her. So I let Matt decide and he decided that he didn't think he wanted to leave her and take Holden out of school. So he's not... But, but didn't, didn't Crystal call Maria Molina, didn't she win some free paint? I don't remember. I think she did. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't remember. I don't remember either. We'll have to check that out. All right. I do not remember. All right. I'm missing, I'm missing comments, guys. I'm sorry. Um, I'm thinking about leaving this top wood. I haven't decided yet. It will kind of depend on what I paint, what kind of um, vine or tree. I haven't really decided exactly what I want to do. I think, you know, you know what would look really cool? Tell me. A bonsai tree. I don't know. That seems hard, babe. Just a shadow, a silhouette of a bonsai tree. Do you think that someone would buy that? I don't know. I just think it'd be cool. Well, do you love it enough for it to set around our house then? Yeah. You do? Sure. It's a bonsai tree. Wow, there's a dog right here. <laughs> what are you doing? Did you say hi? I zerbert you. What are you doing? Go lay down. I don't know. I'm just saying. Uh, um, I don't know how to do that, babe. I, I honestly would be kind of intimidated, I think. I, I'll do it for you. I'll show you. Oh, 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 because you, you've you done them. All right, so I came back up here with some mint chip, you guys. I'm really just kind of getting color on, kind of color blocking a little bit. It's space. Thank you. After Miles' question, Matt, you want to stay home and party, don't you? <laughs> hey, <laughs> hey, we don't talk about that when Dion's around, remember? That's what... Um, that's what the boys are, you know, they always say, oh, no, dad, when mom leaves, you know, but he actually really wants to go to San Diego. I do. He? I really want. He's really never want. been there. He wants to meet all of you guys. He wants to meet Gavin. I do. He's pretty jealous. That I mean, everybody go on. Yeah, I know. It, it, it will happen. It just won't happen this time. Uh, Crystal Coral Marie Molini, where do you keep your pieces that haven't been adopted yet? Um, we keep them in the house, actually. We um, turn our living room and dining room area up in the front of the house into storage space, basically. Um, there is area out in the garage. We put blankets over it, store them that way, but um, we just kind of filter them. There's a, It's always a revolving look in our house. And my friends and family are so used to it. There's always a new piece of furniture and there's always hanging out throughout the house. Um, this house has a little bit more room than our past houses, but um, it's they still just kind of filter all over the house. I think we've had five different armwalls since we've moved in here in the in the living room right out here by our TV. Um, and actually, we just moved another one in there last week, or I did, didn't we, babe? Yes. Well, I think, I mean... It's always Basically, fun. wherever we have a free free wall, free wall, that's where it will go, and yeah. it'll move. 
anywhere from <laughs> 70 to a thousand times. <laughs> He's not kidding. I'm not kidding. Because I get either I get bored and decide I want to keep it or um, I have to move. I just, I don't know. It, like I said, every time you come over to our house, it looks different because I've moved furniture. I've moved artwork depending on, but when you work from home, this is your home studio. You've got to turn your home into your studio. You got to make it work for you and um, not against you. And so it often means that you turn certain rooms into part of the business. It's looking really good, honey. Do you like it? Yeah, your blend, that blending technique I showed you is working really well. I call it blaring. I'm just saying. Hi, Gigi. One, honey. How are you? Hi, Jen Brummer. Um, this is a brand new piece. Let's turn it to the side and, or what time are we at, baby? I have no idea. Okay. Anybody? Uh, let me check here. How about 907? 907. Let's do a little bit of this side. It's been a gorgeous day. Like I said, oh, and guess what Miss Michelle brought us? Not only did she bring me a trailer full of furniture, girl brought me a brownie with chocolate chips on it. Thank you, Joanne. That is a true friend. She told me I was a very good teacher. <laughs> Thank you so much. Hmm. It's nice to be noticed every now and then. Thank you, Joanne, for <laughs> playing into that. <laughs> Let's scoot that back just a little bit, you guys. Are we getting used to the new microphone? I hope. I hope it's helping. Thank you, Chris Butler. What did he say? He said, Matt, that is a wicked cool technique you taught me. Chris, Thank you're you, supposed my to be on my side. There, hey, I've taught her everything she knows, but I haven't taught her everything that I know. You know what I'm saying, Thank Chris? you, paint drops. You know what I'm saying? Gigi, thank you for ordering paint. We um, definitely, depending on if it's coming from our inventory, it's going to come faster. But Vintage Vibes, she would like to know, Yeah. how has your week been so far? Oh, my gosh. It's been so good. I had coaching calls. Um, I've done training the Creative Connection. I've recorded two tutorials. Um, we've done a lot of magazine planning. I got to see Michelle today and eat a brownie. Um, I talked to Q today. Um, it's just been, it's been really good. Both of the boys are in school, so there's not everybody here all the time. <laughs> this just says Matt has been has been behaving himself lately. He's very quiet. You think? Sometimes I get scolded. Sometimes, Vintage. Sometimes you're full of baloney. Sometimes, you don't get scolded. Sometimes my mouth uh, gets me in trouble. That's a fact. You can't, you can't deny that, honey. I don't scold you. <laughs> I'll, like, it's not like you're going to be mean to somebody. I might um, say don't sing so much. I, that's, I like singing where people can't see me because that's fun. I know. You don't even sing. You don't sing I like in sing, the car or anything. I do sing in the car. You only sing on here, which is... Stephanie, there's a mirror attached to the top. Yes. We have a gorgeous mirror. Um, and I just didn't think to get it on here before we went live. But Mich Michelle just brought it this afternoon. Um, and... We were doing good to get it in here and get that gorgeous new piece over there out of the way so you can't see what I'm working on. <laughs> Vintage Vibe says runs. What does she say? Uh, well, uh, oh, she said, LOL. I bet she rubs a tight ship. And then <laughs> she came down to it. Runs, I meant. You guys, if you want to get work done, you got to run a tight ship. <laughs> like, <laughs> There's got to be go, 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 go. And just when he sits down, I'm like, did you or did you? Like, oh, wait, did we? Hey, honey, I need, hey, hey, can you, can you, can you, can you? Hey, honey, I'm hungry. Oh, Nancy, that's a good one. She she tells, uh, tells her kids you can never get in trouble for the things you don't say. That is a fact. All right. Um, I love this combination, guys. This is kind of a nice, I think this is the perfect piece for it, too. This is Mint Chip and Skeleton Key, both colors from DIY Paint. This piece is pretty stinking old. It's got casters on it. Wood caster wheels. Uh, one, two, nine, tiny. Do you paint with music when not doing a live? 
I crank up the jams. I very rarely do that. I either listen to trainings, podcasts. Um, right now, I am teaching myself how to do a podcast, or I'm not teaching myself. I am listening to a podcast um, a lab that I bought. So I want the podcast to start in September. And I want to be able to feature people just like yourself, fellow creatives, artists, and um, I'm learning how to do it. And so I'm, uh, Lolly, I'm exhausted <laughs> listening to what she does. Um, so I'm listening to that and uh, always multitasking. I also I did four new paintings this week. Is that four? See, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I've done four new paintings. They're not done, but I'm still working on them. Um, you know, customer service, calls, emails, order paint. It's just. Uh, Loves Hernandez. Is that brush from DIY also? This is not a DIY brush. This is actually Paint Pixie. It's the VIP, and it actually says the Turquoise Iris, which is one of my brushes that um, Paint Pixie is private labeling for me. Uh, Michelle Abstin Minor, I've tried signing up for the Irish Journal. Yeah. It disconnects me after I put in my name and address. Any ideas why? I don't have any idea why, but it's doing it to multiple people. You'll need to clear out, clear your um, browser and start over. Maybe try a different browser or a different device. Uh, but it has happened to other people. Michelle, do you have any insight to that on what, what might be going on? Um, I probably need to make a phone call for, for that. Got Jasmine please. Smith's in the house tonight. Thanks, Patty. Hello, Jasmine. How are you? All right, so let's get a little the, bit of yellow up here. Really liking the, the combo of the paint you're doing, honey. Well, it's different for me, and I think that anytime you add menship, FYI, takes your piece up another notch. You know what I'm saying? So I'm looking for something that is cloudy, kind of a hazy day, and I don't want you to be intimidated by um, using multiple colors, you guys. When you're using a chalk paint, especially something like DIY's clay-based, um, just add a little bit of water, not to where it's dripping, uh, Linda Mayer really helps. Do you get up really early in the morning? <laughs> I do not. I do not, Linda Meyer. Um, we, I get up when I have to make sure Holden is awake, and even though he sets his alarm, uh, I just kind of get up. Right now, I get up at seven, but before he started school last week, uh, my alarm was set for eight o'clock. But I do stay up till at least midnight. Um, so I'm still getting my eight hours in, but um, when Elijah was here, you know, his curfew was midnight, 1230 sometimes. He's almost 19. And uh, I have a hard time going to sleep until he's home. So I would wait up until he gets in and then I would crash. Rhonda Harris. Hi. How are you doing? I'm doing Love great. Love to watch. Well, thank you for watching. Thank you for Rhonda. watching. I hope that it inspires you to paint. Um, once get this piece done we're going to paint some vines on it and maybe some flowers and then we're going to start a canvas piece where we can do another giveaway for spread love and let you guys nominate someone else Deb Olson says seven is early it is uh -huh. gosh I remember I used to get up at what 4 45 there were those days, but most of the time you had to be at work at seven yeah I had to be at work at seven so you would wake up about six there was a, many years where we lived about 25 minutes from your job, so you had to drive. Good night, Susan. Good night, Susie. All right, so I'm just putting a little bit of Queen Bee, and it's mixed with some Bohemian Blue. So it's okay, right. hold on just one second. Papa Mac and Irene, you get up at 2 a.m.? Why? Oh, my goodness gracious. Well, I still have kids that go to school, so I have to make sure, of course, we get up. Deb, just, Deb says she's a, she's a 9 a.m. That's, that's what I was just replying to oh, because um, I, can't, I couldn't do that because of, of course, you know, kids and, and stuff. And uh, My mom and I have walked the last six years, six or seven years, um, every morning, too. 
And so once I get some work done, breakfast done, um, we walk either at the gym, but let, now we've been walking outside here at the house. Um, so I have to also kind of consider when she wants to be working. My husband gets home at 2.30 a.m. What? What? what is he a he, bouncer? What is he? What does he do? What does he do, Lolly? What does he do for a living? Or you don't have to answer that if you no, don't want yeah, to. No, yeah, that's fine. Uh, Michelle or Jean, I'd love, I'd love a picture of a misty morning over a pond with just greenery around it. I used to go by a place like that every morning while driving my daughter to school. It just made my day every day. Isn't that awesome? You, I can... you have those things, those places that you pass by that you just look at and you go, okay, it's gonna be a good day. It's just peaceful. Yeah. And I can picture that too. There's something about like a pond with trees, big oak trees, and maybe a couple of cows. And Matt, and Matt, I will say, look at those cows over there. And Matt's always just like, yeah, there's some cows. But I just, it's calming to me. I love the look of it. Um, it's a mechanic. Lolly's husband is ah, a, is a mechanic. mechanic. So he has to Papa work. Papa McIntyre said, I'm old and don't sleep anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's fair enough. Fair enough. Oh, guess who we have in the house tonight, honey? We have a famous person. A famous person? Yes. I love famous people. Kathy Anderson. Kathy Anderson. Good day. Good day, <laughs> Kathy. Good day. Love, love listening to her talk. <laughs> How are you, Kathy? How is it in Australia right now? Shaz Conover says sleep is for wimps. <laughs> That's what she said it's yesterday. One, it's 3.20 a.m. where she's at. Right I know. Now. We were doing our um, tutorial in Wait, the Wait, is Shaz? She's also in Australia. No, right? she's not. She's in the UK. UK, okay. That's right. She's in the Creative Connection, and we were doing our watercolor tutorial yesterday. And she said, sleep is for wimps. <laughs> just like that. All right, so this is a little bit of Prairie Gray. I'm just kind of getting some layers on some colors. I really want to do, um, it's freezing with snow on the heels. What? It was just summer there, like with fires and everything. My goodness, such extreme. Well, I hope they're getting some moisture, so. Well, snow, honey. They said snow. Well, I know, but in the hills, on the hills. Oh. I don't know if it's like our hills or they have, you know, like Oklahoma hills or they're like, like mountains or just rolling hills. You know, I, just, I don't know. Never been there. I've watched a gazillion. I mean, a gazillion. Gazillion. I mean, probably, probably gazillion. Uh, documentaries about Australia. So dramatic was. I, I love watching like Discovery and the History Channel. They have some wonderful documentaries about Australia. Really cool. Yep. All right, guys. We made good progress tonight. Thank you for your patience with me. This color combination is a stretch for me, um, but I wanted cozy. That's what I'm looking for. Lots of good cozy stuff um, with the with this with these colors. Uh, just a quick review: mint chip, skeleton key, prairie gray, queen bee, and bohemian blue. All five of those. And the brushes I used were the VIP and the little D and some water. You guys, thanks for hanging out with us. Uh, which green is that? It's a blend on my brush. There is no green. Um, but it had some um, queen bee and some uh, bohemian blue on here. And that's what you're seeing, Jasmine. And um, we will be back on Sunday. Will we be here Sunday? Yeah, yeah we will. Yeah, we're good. We will. We're and good we'll actually Sunday. probably be here either Friday or Saturday as well. Um, I'm thinking of coming on. I don't know if I, it'll be Friday or Saturday. I'm not sure. Um, but I do want to talk to you guys more about some questions that have come in. Uh, about the journal and submissions and just tell you a little bit more about that. Um, those of you that are signing up for the early bird are getting a shipping video where I've packaged a painting and tell you all the details about that, as well as adding in some information about shipping furniture. Um, I am hoping to get Mr. James, my furniture shipper, into the first issue of the magazine if he can have time. Thanks, Llewellyn. Thank you. Um, but also, uh, we'll be going to do a couple of different videos of behind the scenes, things that we're working on. There'll probably even be frustration and possible tears because I am pre prepping myself for feeling overwhelmed and knowing it's coming and I will embrace it because it's part of the process. Um, Matthew, thank you. Thank you.
No, thank you. No, and thank everyone out there who puts up with me. It's it's hard. It's exhausting sometimes. Yeah. I love you guys. Thanks and have a wonderful night. You're so welcome, you guys. We'll see you Friday or Saturday, but definitely on Sunday. Good night. See ya.